Hey everybody, this is John Hiley with DentTrainer.com. We are going to be working on this Triumph motorcycle tank. I'm uh, actually going to be going in and glue pulling this one. And one of the reasons is, is that, as you can see, the dent is pretty close to the filler neck. And if you look down into this filler neck, it actually has a stem that drops a little bit down inside the tank giving us not really ideal conditions to slip a tool in there and give us good leverage for pushing. Now we may be able to get a tool in there to do a little bit of finishing work and things like that, but we're gonna go ahead and go into some glue pulling sessions. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is relieve a lot of that crown pressure. As you can see, there's a really nice tight little crown up there at the top. And as on most tanks, when you start moving metal and releasing pressure, you'll actually have crowns appear or you'll begin noticing a crowns that existed prior to you pushing and moving the metal. Uh, it's a, definitely a lot of crown work. Most of the time on tanks, you'll see me going 360 degrees around it, tapping pressure all the way around that dent because there, there typically is subtle crowns. And again, during the metal movement process, things begin to appear and arise. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in on this thing and get started. Uh, first things first, uh, we're gonna do some crown work and get this thing moving along. So come on over here and uh, we'll get to work. All right, everybody. One of the first things that you're gonna notice here is that I have actually got the tank mounted to this wooden table. You'll see that it's nice and sturdy and that's ideal. Now that rear part there is the only thing that I actually have mounted down. The front of the tank is just kind of sitting there on top of some of them microfiber towels for protection. So now that we got it secure, let's get started. Again, we're going to start out with this large crown. As you can see here, I am using a soft tip. Definitely want some metal movement here. It's a pretty tight pinch. Really wouldn't be too surprised if uh, we didn't find a nice line in the paint from that tight of a crown up there on a tank. So you can see I'm just kind of working my way down, softening the crown up just little by little. And uh, something that uh, you notice here that I also have the light going with the, uh, the peak of the crown. It's definitely the way that I start it. We will be looking at it from different angles throughout, but that is the way I always start my crown work. See a little better view there. I'm kind of resting my arm there and just... Uh, Tap, tapping away. And I'll tell you, this thing is tough. I mean, this is, uh, you can't hear it, but if you notice here, I am smacking that knockdown, and it is just barely moving the metal. You're going to find that about tanks. I mean, they just have such a much more hard uh, type surface. Uh, much uh, doesn't flow like the thin metal in cars. But as you can see here now, I'm actually cross-checking the crown, that nice tight crown. I flip my light around and I'm coming at it from the back side, doing all my little hits in there. You can, If you look up close, you can see where I'm starting to see some, some movement there. I'm starting to see some little, uh, little hits appear and, and that crown's starting to move downward. It's a big eyebrow there. And uh, you're really not much metal from the dent, uh, movement from the dent at this point. So you're not seeing a bunch of, uh, the crown's not going to flow into this dent. It's not going to actually, well, there, right there you go. That is the nice little pinch that's in the paint from that crown. Uh, it almost put an imprint or a line that it hit in uh, that hard. Now we're going to go ahead and go towards the lower crown. So I've done all I want to do on that one up there. We, we've exposed, we see the pinch in the paint, and now let's go ahead and go to the lower crown. As you can see, I'm still uh, tapping it from the same direction on the other side of the tank. And uh, using the soft tip, that's definitely a much more subtle crown down there than the one up at the top. Um, now you can see here that I'm going to go ahead and cross-check it, but I'm going to go in and dial it in and blend out all them little holes uh, that, that uh, you see there with the sharper tip knockdown from the other reflective angle. Essentially, uh, I've got little hills going up and down, up and down, up and down, and I am trying to tap in between all of them to make it nice and level and flush and blend that area out. Lots of cross-checking uh, on this, uh, this repair. 
So now we'll go ahead and take our first glue pool. Had to make a decision whether I wanted to go towards the top or the bottom. I thought that the bottom would be a better spot because the, uh, the crown is not as tight down there. So we'll uh, go ahead and use a slide hammer and take our pool. Nothing. Basically the tank just uh, kind of laughed at me there on that one. So uh, what I'm going to come back with is a Atlas Titan. We didn't see no movement at the bottom, so what do I do? We're going to try her up top. Let it set up just a moment. And, you know, these tabs right here are designed to bite. I mean, these things will give you maximum pull. So let's check it out here. Get my slide hammer in there. There we go. You seen some movement there. Really tightened up that area right there at the top. Go ahead and use some alcohol, peel it off, and let's see what we ha what we have here. Definitely a nice pull right there. We move some metal, and now we're going to take the Titan, stick her into that bottom spot. Definitely them little round tabs did not do the job. These Titans are probably going to pull two or three times as hard. It's going to pull more surface area. And that's what we're looking for. Just testing it out a little bit, letting it set up, and bam. I'll take a look here. There you have it. I mean, it definitely pulled up the center of that large round dent. Now we just kind of got some nice little soft, subtle waves. We still have a tight crown up the top. There we go. Another crown emerged right there on the back side. Now that's definitely a wide crown, so we're going to go ahead and go back in with the soft tip and just start working it down. It's definitely like definitely what I talked about here at the beginning is that when you start pulling and moving this metal, crowns are going to emerge. Think about dropping a, uh, a rock in the middle of a bucket of water and the water that flows to the outside. I mean, you're literally, when you're doing these big old glue pulls, you're disrupting that. I mean, you're, the metal is flowing out from it and getting caught in different areas around the damage. It's kind of flowing to the edge. 